Alright, good morning. I can, uh, I can video here. I hadn't made one in a while, but, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this, uh, reading this article here I seen on Blaze. Uh, it's an older article. I'm talking about, you know, Tim, Tim Robbins, the interview he did on, uh, uh, the Russell Brands podcast. The article's dated December 20th, so it, it's about a couple weeks old, I guess. But it's talking about, you know, how he, um, his mindset, basically Tim Robbins, his mindset changed about the pandemic. I, at first, he went along with all these government mandates and everything, and then uh, all this uh, stuff that was supposed to happen to the unvaccinated didn't happen, basically, you know. Um, and how it kind of changed his mindset on that stuff, you know. Um, it's an interesting read. Um, I, I would suggest reading it if you have time, but... Uh, one part in particular here, you know, and there's some pretty nasty stuff in here. Like, for instance, it reminded us how government, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom, Newsom there in California likened the unvaccinated to drunk drivers. You know, a Los Angeles mayor uh, told the unvaccinated to, to prepare to lose their job, you know, shit like that. But, uh, yeah. But then he went to, this is what Tim Robbins said changed his mindset. He went to Britain. And he saw that uh, there were people that uh, were protesting there, and uh, he said they were they were leftists and liberals. Now I don't know about all that. I'm looking at here. I don't see a lot of at the picture here. Uh, I don't have Twitter, so I don't think I can actually watch the clip of the protesters because it's on Twitter, according to this. But uh, I don't see a lot of pink and purple haired people out there and a lot of dudes in dresses out there in that protest but uh yeah it, it, it made me think of you know, the difference between uh liberals and conservatives yeah, it, pff, liberals he said people who he said these were, weren't these weren't you know national front nazis these were liberals and lefties and i'm quoting now uh he said i saw the way they were being described in the press and it wasn't true he said these were not, you know, National Front Nazis, whatever the hell they are. Um, these were liberals and lefties and people who believed in personal freedom. And I ain't met too many liberals that believed in personal freedom. Uh, generally, what I've noticed is the difference between a liberal and a conservative is, is, is a conservative believes, you know, hey, I don't got to believe the way you do, uh, but I respect your right to believe how you want to believe and liberals are saying liberals are typically on the mindset of if you don't believe the way I do, you're a racist and a bigot, you know, and you need to be silenced. Um, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's kind of like, you know, with the, uh, the gay marriage thing, you know, Personally, I don't believe dudes should be out there marrying dudes and women should be out there marrying women, okay? I'm just going to get on here and say that. Uh, but this is America, and if a dude wants to go marry a dude and a girl wants to go marry a girl, hey, you know what? Y'all can do what y'all want to do. If there was a homosexual couple who were and they were my neighbors, and uh, they would have come over and say, hey, our car won't start. Can you take a look at it? And, and, I was, and, and this is somewhat from personal experience now, what I'm describing here. I would go over there and, and, and see if I could fix their car for them. You know? Because and, and that's just, you know, that's the, the neighborly thing to do. That's the, you know. Um, but what I see out of a lot of liberals is that, hey, you know what? If I can't imagine this being a scenario, but suppose my car, I, my truck wouldn't start and I go over to ask my, my, my liberal neighbor for a pair of jumper cables. It's like, hey, you know what? No, get off my property. You, you, you don't accept gay marriage. And, you know, you voted against gay marriage. You supported Roe v. Wade. Get off my property. You know, see, see that's the, the kind of difference there I'm talking about, you know. With liberals, it tends to be where you have to believe what we believe or, you know, you're subhuman, dehumanized, you know. Um, but, yeah, that got me thinking about that, that difference there, that, you know, 
conservatives tend to be of the real, you know, mindset of live and let live, uh, of personal freedom. Liberals tend to be more of the, uh, you will bend to my will. You will, I will impose my will on you. That's not personal freedom. You know, if, if you, if you're whatever the hell, uh, non-binary, I don't know if you're, what they, what do they call it? Uh, if you think gender is like, like water in a cup and it runs everywhere, uh, gender fluid um, and, and you want to be called Z, Zim, and Zer and uh, all kind of shit I don't I don't know uh, you know that, that's your damn right hey man you know that that's, that's your your right you can call yourself Z and Zer and they and there and and, and unicorn Vomit, I mean, whatever floats your fucking cork. All right? That's fine. And as a conservative, I respect your right to refer to yourself as that. All right? I'm not going to tell you, hey, man, it, 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 like if I know you have a dick, because not because I, I looked at your genitals, but because I can see the damn beard on your face and I can hear your... You know, your voice. Hang on one second. I'm expecting the plumber to show up. But, uh, and, uh like I was saying, if, uh, if you want to call yourself Z and Zer and all that and, you know, and I know, like I said, I know you're a dude because I can see the beard on your face. You know, that that you could do that, but don't expect me to call you that. that. That's the difference there. I can respect your right to refer to yourself however you want, even if I know that hey, you're you're not a Z or a Z, or like I said, if you got a full facial beard. And you're trying to call you, and you want to, and you want to refer to yourself as ma'am and her, you know, that's your right to do that, and I respect your right. What you don't have the right to do is force me to call you that. See that that's the difference between liberals and conservatives. I respect your right to refer to yourself however you want to refer to it, even if I know it, it, it's it, it's not true, it's not the truth. It's not the same truth that says this is a coffee cup, um, you know. Um, but the liberal is like, well, hey, you know what? Now you have to address me. I am going to push my will onto you. You have to address me the way I'm telling you to address me. I'm telling you to call me ma'am. Could you imagine me going up to someone and saying, hey, you know what? Call me ma'am. Call me ma'am, or else. You know, can you imagine that? Y'all would look at me like I'm a damn idiot. Yeah, you know, so. But I just wanted to put the point that out there. Because that, that, when I read, I read, and I read the whole article, but that jumped out at me. You know, and made me think of the, you know, the difference between liberals and conservatives, you know. Personal freedom is more on the side of conservatives than it is liberal. Than it is with the liberals, the leftists. Personal freedom is respect is acknowledging that, that someone else has the right to believe something different than you, even if you disagree with it, and still showing them a measure of respect. All right. Liberalism is saying, no, you don't have the right. It's believing that, no, someone else doesn't have the right to, to believe something different and to, uh, something that disagrees with what I believe. And I will force them to believe like I believe. And then, of course, the government going along with it, like, like well, like during the pandemic. 
Because as it points out, and as, as Tim Robbins points out, you know, in this article, at first, when Trump was still president, the government was like, Democrats were like, no, you know, and, and Democrats had a big part, had a big piece of the government under their control, even, even during the Trump years. Uh, Democrats were like, you know, no, don't take, the, we're not going to take the vaccine. Don't take the vaccine. We don't think it's safe. You know, when it was, as he points out, Trump's vaccine. Um, and then as soon as Trump's out of office, like everybody better take his damn vaccine. If you don't take the vaccine, you're, you're basically, uh, you're, you're, you're whatever, the, uh, you know, basically you're, you're, you're not a person if you don't take the vaccine. Or like you're a drunk driver, a Nazi, whatever, you know, take your leftist liberal pick. Um, and, and that change happened almost immediately. I mean, as soon as Trump stepped out of the White House and Biden stepped in, you know, Democrats and, Democrats and therefore liberal mindset about the vaccine changed. That quickly, like flipping a damn light switch on and off. You know, so anyway, I, that's I just wanted to throw that out there. But uh, um, I don't know if that plumber he was supposed to be here at eight. I don't know if he's gonna make it. I'm uh, still without water. I'm I will do another video about that update on that. But uh, yeah, been a week. I'm still without water. Uh, I may have to, when it, if it dries up enough, I may have to try to crawl under the house if I can't fix it my damn self. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Bye.